Look at my gray hair. I am getting it ready to dye it. I only dye it about once to twice a year um, because my afro hides it. I don't have, I can't show you the back, but I don't have much at all in the back. All of my gray is like here, like really right in the top middle of my hair and a little bit around the edges. But um, I just washed it, conditioned it, detangled it, and put it in sections so that I can dye. And I am using Beijing. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. It's the only thing that really dyes it really, really as black as I want it. And it also lasts for a long time. I don't have to dye it as much. And it's less damaging. And a lot of people says that it irritates. But I think that if your hair is well taken care of, moisturized, treated, and everything, that you won't have an allergic reaction to it. I just want to show you my gray hair. It's been about, I don't know, six, seven months since I dyed it. It's going into the um, plait, so I don't even know how much gray hair new growth I have. So it is the next day, and I forgot to tell you earlier that I wasn't dyeing my hair the same day. I wash it, prep it, and I dye it the next day. So I um, used the Oriental Black. I was going to use the Blue Black, but I was kind of scared. Now, I'll probably try that next time, and I heard that you're not supposed to mix in a metal bowl. And I like to mix mine in a um, container. My very own container, I mix both of them with water, and it's easier for me to put on that way. So, just wanted to show you that, and um, this video is not going to be long at all. This is probably the end of the video. Just really wanted to sh tell you how I prep it, and even and afterwards, when I do care for my hair, I have all kind of good stuff in my hair. Like, my products are mixed with, mixed with Suffer 8 oil tea tree oil everything and I don't get a reaction um I know a lot of people don't like their hair very oily and greasy and it still looks beautiful a lot of people have natural hair and then they get it silk pressed I've seen a lot of people with natural hair and silk presses have an allergic reaction I don't know the reason why they have it but I just honestly think I could be wrong but I think that if you treat your hair well and take very good care of it keep it moisturized and um, treat it that you won't have a reaction, but you may have one. But I love Beijing. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.